a little bit toward the north of this uh, celestial dance in this direction uh, you will see the comet um, which will be visible comet atlas that is going to be a really bright comet hopefully in the coming months as it moves toward the sunset this is the sky watcher six inch refractor short tube one and i'm using the sky watcher SWA super wide angle 70 degrees 13 millimeter eyepiece to look at the moon and the planet venus which are somewhere in that direction and i am using the bother dielectric two inch uh, uh, diagonal with a lock click lock mechanism which is really convenient it's just Position this lock, position that way, uh, turn it that way, it will unlock. So, the tiny cloud covered the moon at this moment, but uh, it will come back again. As I mentioned earlier, this uh, window is positioned well toward the west, so I can access it. It's a self isolation time during the coronavirus. And so far, 1,000 people have died in the Britain because of the coronavirus. The death toll is rising fast so the only place i can observe is here um, but thanks god uh, because of this coronavirus the this area is very quiet nobody passes this is our bathroom window You can see the earth shine also on the dark side of the moon. Change to the similar eyepiece is a Celestron uh, Ultima L, uh, LX 17 millimeter. Exactly the the same design, the same thing, just Celestron. Skywatcher and Celestron are the same company practically. And uh, I'm just going to 17 millimeter just to have a wider angular view. Despite the slight chromatic aberration, this 6 inch refractor is superb. The image quality is as good as a Schmidt Cassegrain, as Mead telescope. And this is a really good telescope. Mead LX200 is probably the best telescope I've ever had. And this is as good as that. I am gobsmacked. I can see so many small craters in the. Mare Chrysium and Mare Serenitatis. Yes. <laughs> How can it be possible? Why? I didn't see these things before. <laughs> oh, oh. I cannot believe you. I can see these things now. They're peppered with the tiny craters.
Okay, yep, the cutting in the sea of the north of the Imbrium, where the Jura Mountains is, uh, what is called actually, the part near the Caucasian Mountains, is the uh, Alpine Valley. Amazing. Yeah, it's in lower part so when you see the a parallel dotted line as if parallel to that mountain inward to the, uh, the sea of rains is where the Apollo 15 landed in the mountains. Try to zoom on down. 